So a few days ago, I published a video about how you can make a hoverable drop down menu in the Dawn theme on Shopify. And as a couple of you pointed out in the comments, now that the drop down is bound to the hover, it opens up the door for us to actually link out using these main menu bar links and also these sub menu bar links here when we click. In this video, I wanna cover how you can implement that functionality into your site. Even though it's a little bit more intricate as far as the code goes, it shouldn't be really that big of a problem for you guys to implement. So before we get started, I just wanna note that if you haven't implemented my tutorial from the last video, I would recommend going back to that video, implementing that, then coming back here. Uh, otherwise, you're going to uh, rebind the click function and you won't even be able to access your drop down of your menu. As always, before we start, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna duplicate your theme file and that way you have a backup in case things go wrong. Um, but once you've done that, you can go ahead and click the edit code button. So once you're in your code editor, uh, go ahead and search your files for header. And under the sections folder, you're gonna see a header.liquid file. You're gonna open that up. And this file basically is this header bar here. Uh, that's what it codes for. So once you've located your header.liquid file, I want you guys to scroll down to around line 351. Uh, please note that, so this file codes for the header of your site, and there's sort of two separate copies of the code in this file because one is for the mobile version of your site and one's for the desktop version of your site. We're gonna be working with the desktop version of the header here, and so the line that we specifically wanna focus on is line, um, around here, line 350. So if I can explain really quickly what's on this line. So this span here is basically going to be a um, header menu item. So it's gonna be like one of these, right? So this catalog or catalog one or catalog two, it's gonna be one of these. And we want that to link out to something, right? And we want it to link on click. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a regular A tag and uh, we're gonna open that up here. And this is just how you usually create a link in HTML. And um, at the end of this line, at the end of the uh, icon caret, so that's this um, little like V here, uh, we're going to close that tag. Now, the href property here is going to be the link uh, that we want the file to go to. And so for that, um, we're actually gonna use a liquid tag for that and we're going to make this the link URL. And don't worry guys, I'll have all this code uh, down in the description or the comment section of this video for you to copy. Um, so here, this is just linking to this link.url, which is literally just going to be the catalog, whatever this is linked to in your navigation uh, settings, right? And um, now once we save that, you'll see that we run into a few issues. So if we go ahead and refresh the site after we've saved that, um, you can see that these links, now both of them are underlined and also they're both um, like purple because they're links that I've clicked before. And we don't want that to be the case. We want it to be just the regular default um, header color and style. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to put in a, um, a style property here. And basically the style is going to be uh, this, this line here. So basically what this line is doing is it's saying that the color of the link should be inherited from the last element because we want it to not be the regular default link color of the site. And then this second line here, what this is doing is um, we're opening up a, uh, a liquid tag here and we're saying unless the link.childactive, that basically means unless there's like we're on one of the pages that's linked underneath this um, or the link itself is active. So unless this link is active, if one of these is true, basically the, this is going to end up with the, uh, the link underlined, like the, the regular link would be. So once you've done that, you'll, you can go ahead and save that and go ahead and refresh your site and you'll see that now these are both um, these are both properly formatted and if I click on one of these it's gonna navigate to these so we're not finished yet because this sub menu item still is not clickable the clicking is just opening up this and, and closing this 
Okay, so to take care of the child links, you're gonna navigate down to around 363 in the file. Your lines might be slightly different, keep that in mind, guys. You're gonna open up another one of these A tags, and you want the href property to be equal to the child link URL, which is another one of these liquid lines or whatever. And uh, then we're gonna close that A tag at the end of this. We don't want that to close the summary, we want it to close the A tag. Um, and we can go ahead and you know, reformat that properly. Um, so once we save that, let's just make sure that's working. Um, so when we click on this, it navigates us to the link, the thing that's linked under here. Um, and yeah, but the problem is, is once again, we have this bad formatting. Okay, so now we're gonna create a style property very similar to the one that we did before. Um, so go ahead and just copy paste that same style property that we had from before. And it's, it's doing the exact same thing as last time. The only thing we're gonna change with this one is now since we're talking about the child link, we wanna change both of these links.childactive or whatever and this link.active to child link as, the, as what we're referencing here. And we're gonna save that. And uh, once we've saved that, let's go ahead and make sure that's working. And you can see I can click this, and once I've clicked it and once I'm on it, it's highlighting it. But when I'm not on it, like say I'm on the home page, it's not on it. So now we've covered all the different levels. This is as far nested as these items can get in this uh, drop down menu. So uh, that's how you make these, these items clickable, uh, these main items clickable. Um, if this video helped you guys, I'd appreciate it if you left a like so other people can find it. On my channel, I create Shopify coding tutorials and like Shopify theme reviews and app reviews and whatnot. So if improving quality of your Shopify site interests you, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.